a step where we're going to glue all of our parts together. And the first thing that we need to do is have all of our parts. So I have my vertical stabilizer, my horizontal stabilizer, a fuselage, and my wing. Uh, what I also need, I need a pencil, some super glue, some pins, and a ruler. The first thing I want to do is with my wing, before I glue it, I want to make sure that I know where the center is. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pattern back on here. One way to do it is just to put a couple little pinholes in here so that I can see them. Probably a bunch of different ways to do it. Then you can take the ruler and uh, we'll just connect the dots here. And that way I've got a nice line that shows me right where the center of my wing is when I glue it on the fuselage. Okay, now since we're using the tip dihedral or if you have a dihedral, we've got to be able to glue our wings uh, back together so that they're at the right angle. So we have the two pieces that we cut out from our pattern that give us the angle. These are going to be our support pieces. And what we want to do is make sure that the wing doesn't get glued to the support pieces or to our foam board. And we're going to use wax paper to do that. I'm going to take my wing and I'm going to just take two pins right in the middle and I'm going to pin my wing down so it doesn't move. Okay, And then I'm going to take my support piece I want to slide it underneath so it's under the wax paper as well. I'll take my wing and I'll line it up exactly where my cut was. So the, the better you can line it up, the better it's going to be glued together. Okay, and I hope you can see that. And I'm going to push my support piece right up to the edge there so I get the right angle. And then I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to push it right through the, the wing, right through my support piece. I'm going to make sure it goes in the middle of it and right through the bottom of the foam board. And I want to do two of those at least, and then that way it won't move around when it's being glued. Alright, so there's one of them, and you see this is nice and tight and it doesn't move around. So same thing, I want to line this up, and then I'm going to slide my support piece under here. And this time I'll show it to you from this side. And I'll get my hand out of the way here in a second. But okay. I'm lining up the support piece right in the middle and then I'm putting the pins through it and you just need to make sure that the pins go right through the middle of the support and you can look on here and make sure that it did and then I have a second one that way it won't move around okay so then I'm going to super glue this together and I'll make sure my pieces are nice and tight together and I can Super glue open. So I'm just going to put a bead of super glue right down here, like this. Put a bead of super glue in here. Okay, and then I do the same thing on this side, all the way down. See it? I actually put some super glue on here before. So, all right, then put your lid back on, and you're just going to hold these down and blow on it for a second. So we'll come back after it's dry. Okay, so now all of the super glue is dry on the tips of my wings, and I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. Just take the pins out very carefully so I don't pull the tips off or anything. They should be pretty good. Okay. All right, now my stick has stuck to the wax paper a little bit, which is fine, and that's what it's for. And then just peel it off carefully, and you have your wings. Right, now we're going to glue the rest of the pieces on and I've already marked where my wing is supposed to go on my fuselage so you can take your pattern and mark that. Now I know where the, the leading edge and the tra trailing edge of the wing is going to go. I'm going to grab my super glue and I'm just going to put a little line of super glue right here down the fuselage. Put it on. And then, since I drew a line on my wing, I know right where the center is. I know where the front and back needs to go. And I just set this on here just like that. Okay, I'm going to hold it nice and tight. You have just a few seconds to adjust it, so make sure it's centered the best that you can. And all you got to do is squeeze a little kind of hard. It'll set pretty quickly. It'll dry actually a little bit faster than it does on the when you do the tips, you're good. So then the next thing that you're going to do, your horizontal stabilizer, 
Basically, it's the same thing. Just putting a little glue on the end. Put my horizontal stabilizer on. This one, I have a point. I also put the pins in the middle so I know where the center is. But I want to center that guy. That part right there. And again, I'm just going to hold this down nice and tight until it's dry, which will only take a few seconds. Make sure it's straight and even. All right, so that'll just take a few seconds to dry. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is my vertical stabilizer. This one I'm going to do a little differently. I find it easier to put the glue right on the edge of the stabilizer. And again, I'm lining it up right with the center. You can see I have these two little pinholes, but you could put a line there if you want ahead of time. And then I kind of tap, tap the glue on there so it's even. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then the same thing, I'm just going to hold it on nice and tight for a few seconds. And that should be dry. And I'm really almost done putting it together. The only last thing that you'll need to do is put the little piece that's going to go at the nose where you hook it onto the rubber band and glue that on. And then same thing here, the little piece that you can grab onto if that's part of your design. And if you need to short, if you need to strengthen this a little bit, you can always put a little glue right on the edge. But you can see glue sticking out right there. Mine's good. You can see little glue sticking out on the edges there. I think these are going to be just fine.